Hopkins, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Goff now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down, they complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, and the ball should be there. And then they can get do some work afterwards. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and ten, Goff. This is caught, and in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta from 19 yards away. And the Lions are on the board first here this afternoon. It's never any fun, Brandon, when you're the defensive team in the first drive of the game, you give up a touchdown. The key is not to get down. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They go here with a former Lion, it's DeAndre Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Dancing to his left. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Third and four. Here's Hertz to throw. 
And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. It's caught on the right side at Snell. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards to pick up there on fourth and two. First and ten at the 39-yard line. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And the Lions are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. They'll take over at first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. And they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. 38-yard line, second and nine. Now it's gone. To the sideline and incomplete. Had no command that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Carmen? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute ball. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Gone. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. He'll field this at the five. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 
Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And they're on 21 yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And he'll work down inside the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Hertz sets up to throw it, buying time to his left. The 20! And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts 
as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Second down, here's Hertz. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end, and I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. A two touchdown game, 14 nothing the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? Which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, Get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Hurt's going to move them around. Now a give, right side, Swift. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring him down to the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's Brian Branch with it. And the Lions are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. 
First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Great stop by Darius Slay to back up the offense. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and three. Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Goff. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. A gain of 19 yards. First down, Lions. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Montgomery back to the ground. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll run with Montgomery. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now Goff taps his forward. That's a jet sweep. What oh, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage, but an even better job. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big-time sack. 
Patterson's kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter and a big deficit, Charles, but they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner, to put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the 37-yard line. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. It's Brian Branch with it. Inside the 10, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, just add that to the list of great moments for this defense today. They've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other. Every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done, they continually built energy in this one. And how about them culminating with a pick six? Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense, and certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're... And now here is another interception. Jack Campbell with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Montgomery on the counter. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So here's a third and 14. Now golf. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And wow, the fair catch was signaled for and taken inside the five-yard line. Just a 25-yard punt, not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what Silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like, what feels good to you and what feels good to your team? You're down big, you really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put... And my goodness, another interception. It's Brian Branch with it, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And the Lions come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over.